And it's an economic showdown between two Kansas governor candidates. Tonight, we get answers on where the state's economy stands. Good evening on a Thursday, and thank you for joining us. You're watching 27 News at 6, and I'm David George. Democratic incumbent Laura Kelly claims that she's created more than 48,000 jobs, but Republican candidate Derek Smith says that number is not what it seems. 27 News, Kansas Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung joins us live with much more. Rebecca? Well, David, the two candidates for Kansas governor are at odds tonight. The governor says the state has been quick to recover from pandemic losses, but her Republican opponent says the state is trailing far behind. Kansas Governor Laura Kelly has been hitting the campaign trail, touting job growth. We have restored those jobs and more. And economic success. That's four billion with a B. The Republican candidate for governor, Derek Schmidt, says Kelly's election year speech is misleading. Well, I think it's an election year, and the governor's trying to make up lost ground because she accomplished nearly nothing during the first three years of her administration. So they're desperately trying to build a record and a message to run on. But Kansans know that the first three years years were, were abysmal. But Governor Kelly disagrees, saying her administration has created more than 48,000 jobs. That's based on how they're calculating that number. The state's Commerce Department says the figure is based on companies receiving commerce incentives, many of which are future positions. The state recently signed on to a billion-dollar Panasonic deal, promising up to 4,000 new jobs. But those jobs aren't here yet. Now looking at the overall jobs since Kelly took office, that number's actually gone down since 2019. Labor numbers show that the total number of non-farm jobs in June 2022 are more than 20,000 jobs less than in January 2019. During pandemic shutdowns, jobs were at a low. According to the state's Labor Department, Kansas is one of 35 states that has not yet returned to pre-pandemic levels for non-farm job estimates. The state's been trying to recover since. And that is shown in dirt that's moving at construction sites across the state, at cranes that you see, at cement mixers that are pouring cement. There are things happening across Kansas, and everyday Kansans see and feel that and know that the state is headed in the right direction. Now, looking at the latest job estimates for June 2022, they indicate that about 80 percent of more than 157,000 jobs lost during the pandemic shutdowns have been recovered so far. And now that's compared to about 97.6 percent on a national level. For now, reporting at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung.